I'm not laughing, Lando. It's not funny. Hello everyone, welcome to another video and welcome to the beautiful Imola where we're going to be doing a fixed Ferrari race. Now before we start, I want to give a shout out to my channel members. I never really mention them, but they always support me. They always click on join every month. So thank you very much to those guys. If you want to be a channel member, by the way, you can click join below, but that's not what this is about. I just want to say a massive thank you for your continued support. I really mean that. Anyway... On with the race. So strength of field for this one is about 2.6, 2.7K. And we've qualified P3 with a 142.842. Only half a tenth behind Lando in P1. Half a tenth in front of P4. And then it's close for about the next three or four positions. So this one is anyone's up towards the sharp end. Now at any point during the video, if you do like it, please remember, click on the like button. And if you want to see more, please consider subscribing. So enough talking. 15 minutes in the fixed Ferrari around Imola. Let's get on track. 15 minutes. The air temp is 26 Celsius. Here we go. People are saying, Dave, stay away from fixed Ferrari, Imola. It's a crash fest. Follow car number seven in the left column. Challenge accepted. So, P3. Not far off pole position, but my word, Lando put a cracking time in there. Uh, 42.7. Well, just shy of a 42.8. So we're uh, over half a tenth off. Don't know where he's got that from. We'll do the best we can. Try and keep it clean. Try and keep it safe. As usual. Didn't quite get alongside there. I'm here, buddy. I'm here. Ooh, oh, we had to scrap for that one, I tell you. It wasn't giving that up. You stay on line, Lando. I'll follow you around. Unless these guys start getting racy behind, then I won't. Something's happened behind. Oh, you can hear the crowd roar. Right, come on, Lando. Let's just sail off into the sunset. Create a massive gap behind. That's what we want to do, ideally. Really hard following around Imola on this back section, really tough.
Like from here on. We don't want any slowdowns. That's what we don't want. We're still with him. We can't really do anything though. He's quick. Where's it going? <laughs> I'm not laughing, Lando. It's not funny. Right, it's ours to lose now. But that's how quickly it can happen though. It's so quickly, you lead in the race, the next minute, bang. The Ferrari's gone. Oh, come on, Dave. Oh, no. We'll get rid of this before this turn here. Let's get rid of this. There we go. Gone. Right, head down now, Dave. Head down. Focus. Ten minutes remaining. Ten minutes. Idiot. Where did you want to go? In leading. That lap time was 144.42. The inside while Paul and Paul looked through that. Okay. Well, we've got nine minutes to go. The gap's three point six. He was a bit more track there, but I've gone on the grass there many, many times. I'm always a bit frightened approaching that turn. Better, better, better. Gap staying round about the same. So Isaac's obviously got his uh, finger out now. That gap, that three and a bit seconds, 
and disappear very quickly. You're only a couple of seconds off somebody being in draft, so you want to need to lose two two seconds and it's game over. Isaac's lapping quite quick now. Sub 43s. We're not having to push massively at the moment. If he closes the gap under three seconds, then we'll have to uh, try and push a bit more. Get off there. guy at the start though he wasn't giving us any room was he I don't know who it was now I don't know if it was Isaac good hard racing though I don't mind that he didn't completely shut the door which was good whoa it's a slow down is it That all kinds of wrong. Right, under three seconds now. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Just five minutes left. Hold your nerve. We can win this. Jim, don't say stuff like that and put the pressure on. What have we said? We talked about this. Don't put me under pressure when I don't need it. One more second, and then I'll be thinking, oh, just a little, mo a little bit more and I've got draft. Just got to be consistent. Low 43s is a must. So three minutes to go. Two more laps. Can we hold on? You're in the lead. That's half fuel. You've used half your fuel.
keeping me honest though. I hope there's just one more lap left. Could be. Nice and steady, nice and steady. Is it? Yes. One more lap. Come on, Dave. One more lap. Keep it together. We'll win this. Good consistency. Keep them coming. combination this though, I really like it. Ferrari, Imola, what's not to like? What's not to like? I think Isaac definitely had pace on me there throughout the race. Could have got a better start than it could have been his race for certain. We were just fortunate that we put ourselves in a position at the beginning where we could capitalise on the mistake by Lando, but yes. Wins are few and far between, so I'll take it. Thank you very much indeed. Good race, everybody. You deserve that today. Right, let's have a look at the carnage, because uh, Lando obviously <laughs> threw himself off to the right. And there was a little bit of salt, I heard. So let's have a look at the carnage. Okay then, let's have a look and see what all the fuss was about. Oh, this was just behind us. Oh, just about kept it on. Oh, he's gone. Oh, no. Thankfully, the other guy died as well. The car number one. Is that car number one? I think it was, wasn't it? His race is done anyway. Oh, this has got potential. This has got potential. Oh, oh! Ooh. Ouch. Punter Rooney from the back. Oh, <laughs> this is Lando in front of us. Oh, and then he hit the barrier. That's a send. That's a send. Thankfully, I think he died instead of the guy that he uh, tried to send it on. That makes sense. Oh, 
I wonder why the number one car didn't qualify or I didn't really notice. Oh, did he qualify? Just have a bad qualifying? I don't know. We'll have a look when we go to the results anyway. But he's having a shocker. He's having a shocker. Oh, can I hear something behind this guy? Is he going to get sent? No, nothing there. This guy is though, potentially. No. A lot of curbs after the initial carnage. Now this has got potential. There we go. A little nudgy -roo. Oh dear. And that's it. Right. Let's have a look at the results. So there were six splits for this one. We were top split, strength of field 2,670. So we gained safety rating 0 0.05, happy days. And a nice big chunk of I rating there, plus 51. That takes us to 4455. So we got the win. Isaac got P2 and Pierre Louis rounded up the podium with P3. So we had two incident points. Best lap on lap two were 42.78, but that was with draft. We were low 43s, I think, without draft, low to mid 43s. So who was the biggest winner? I think it's going to be Isaac, who finished P2. It is. He gained 74. And the biggest loser is Mark de Fulgentio. He lost 108. Right, let's have a look at car number one, Kirill. Yeah, so started P19, so I don't know why he didn't qualify. P14 and lost 87 I rating for that. Crikey. So there we go, P1, and got the win. Safety rating gain and an I rating gain. The I rating's climbing now, going in the right direction, which I'm happy about. So this one is for you guys, the channel members. Thank you very much indeed. I really, really appreciate it. So if you did like this video, please remember, click on the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more or don't subscribe. It's up to you. Um, but anyway, that's it from me. Thank you for watching. As always, have a good week. See you later. Cheers.